Hello, my name is Ethan Stetson and I'm a technical consulting engineer with the Cisco Catalyst Center TAC team. In this video, we'll go over steps to deploy the Cisco Catalyst Center as a virtual machine on ESXi. For this demonstration, we're using Cisco Catalyst Center version 2.3.7.4 and ESXi 7.0.3. Please note that the only image supported for the ESXi deployment is a Cisco-provided OVA. We'll start by logging into our vSphere client. If our OVA is stored on a remote server or locally on our machine, we can right-click the server and select Deploy OVF Template. In this example, we have the OVA file saved in our content library. We'll click on the hamburger menu in the top left, select Content Libraries, select the library, the file we want to use, Actions, and then New Virtual Machine from Template. On this screen, we can name our virtual machine and choose its target location. We'll choose our compute resource and an internal compatibility check will run, and then we can proceed to the next page. After a review, we can proceed to the next step. For this step, we'll choose our virtual disk format and our storage. For virtual disk format, we have three options. Thick provision lazy zero means the space required for the virtual disk is allocated when it's created, but any data remaining on that physical disk is not erased during the creation. It's zeroed out on demand as it's needed by the virtual machine. Thick provision eager zero means all of the space required for the virtual disk is both allocated and zeroed at the time of creation. And thin provision consumes only the space that it needs initially and grows with time. Use caution as this option does allow us to overcommit resources to the virtual machines. When we select our storage, the virtual disk format defaults back to thick provision lazy zero. If we wish to use one of the other two options, select the storage first and then change the disk format. On this page, we select the destination network to associate with our enterprise network. During the initial deployment, the only source network available is the enterprise network. If we want to add a separate management network interface, we can add that after the VM has been deployed. I'll show you how to do that when we get there. In this example, we named our Enterprise Destination Network VM Network. We'll select this option and continue to the last step. We can review the selections we've made and click Finish to start deploying the virtual machine. Once we click Finish, the task starts. We can click on the arrow next to Recent Tasks at the bottom of the screen to watch the progress. I sped up this portion of the video but since a file was in my content library, it only took about 10 minutes from the time I clicked finish to the time the task actually finished. Deployment times can vary depending on if you're deploying the image locally, from the content library, or from a remote file server. Once a task completes, we can add the additional management interface. This is not required, but can be configured by clicking on the hamburger menu, navigating back to the inventory, right-clicking on the virtual machine, and clicking Edit Settings. In the top right of this window, select Add New Device and scroll to the bottom to add the network adapter. Here, we can see our new network adapter has been added, but the same destination network is selected by default. We can click on Browse to view all destination networks that we have configured and select the correct one. For this demonstration, we're only using the Enterprise Network. At this point, we've deployed our Cisco Catalyst Center 2.3.7.4 as a virtual machine. At this point, we're ready to power on the virtual machine and run through the installation wizard. In this video, we demonstrated how to deploy the Cisco Catalyst Center as a virtual machine on ESXi, how to add an additional management interface, and by the end, we're ready to install the Cisco Catalyst Center virtual appliance. Please check out the next video where we'll run through the steps to install the Cisco Catalyst Center using the Maglev configuration wizard. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.